Diane in Denmark here, I've got the timer running. I wanted to try something new today because you've seen me changing the sheets, you know, it's in the weekly home blessing hour series that I have and also I did, uh, you know, using the magic timer, how long it takes. And somebody asked, you know, when you see me fighting with the duvet cover, why uh, don't you use the burrito method? You know, that one of rolling it up like a pancake. And it's true, I remember seeing a video about that a long time ago, probably a couple of years ago, and it was with Clinton Kelly, who I used to watch on that um, What Not To Wear program. Anyway, I found the video, and it was Clinton Kelly's on some kind of daytime program thing, and I thought, okay, well, let's have a stab at that. And I've tried it a couple of times since. The first time it didn't work. I, I couldn't quite get my head around it, and I still can't understand why this works. But it does. So here we are. I'm going to, uh, I changed the sheets in our um, Swedish weekend cabin yesterday. As I've said to you before, I normally change sheets on a Sunday, not during part of weekly on blessing. It just fits me better because then I can put an extra load on. And anyway, I'm going to change the sheets here. See what you think. I'm not quite convinced yet if I'm going to keep on using this method on the other one. But it does, um, you know, like uh, you've seen me kind of fighting with the thing and then being a bit out of breath afterwards. So let's see if it's uh, any easier. So anyway, I'll, I'll get on with it. Uh, feel free to change the sheets or do something else in your bedroom for 10 minutes, like maybe fold some um, clothes that have been lying on a chair. So actually, I'm going to um, take the sheets Take the duvet off the bed uh, in the reverse and hold on I'll just take off my jacket because uh, I'm going to be working here. I've got my Fitbit on. I was doing my weekly home blessing hour earlier. There we are. Okay so I'm just I'm just kind of rolling it down and then when I get to this part you flip this inside out. Or at least that is the theory. Okay, so I've done one. I'm tucked in an end like a sausage. Okay. And I think this is probably easier if you have duvet covers that open right up. My ones, they're, <laughs> they're all from Ikea, basically. So there's just maybe like a third uh, opening. Okay, so I've kind of tucked it in, and then all I'm gonna do now Okay, so that's a working reverse, and you'll see that you end up with the duvet, ta-da! And it's separate. Now that isn't really, for me that's not really a time saver, I'd prefer just to pull the duvet out. But at least it has it inside out, so that one's going in the wash. And then I do my usual, I just go around the corners, take one off at a time, take out the, what do you call them, the pillows, one, and the other side. my sheet and my new duvet cover which is underneath and I think we will take that one and that's it. There we go. Pillowcases. That's one over there. And these ones have zips on them that are a bit easier. ready to go. So, sheet back of the bed, fitted sheet, that way.
Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I've already got this one. As I've told you before, I turn them inside out uh, when they're being washed. So here's the zip. And this is going to go at the end of the bed. I'm just going to put the whole thing flat on the bed. There you go. And then you put your duvet on top. And then just kind of match up the edges. One, two, three, four. See how the time is doing? Oh, we're doing okay. Okay. And then, like before, I'm just going to roll. Roll in, roll in, roll in. To this end, I'm going to turn the corners in. And as I said, this is a bit clumsy with my duvet covers, but maybe it's easier on yours. See how you get on. Kind of turn it in on the side itself. And I still don't understand how this thing works. It's so weird, but it does. Okay. Then this end. It's a bit more difficult. Okay, now it looks really weird. And the first time I did it, I thought this hasn't worked. But to keep going with it and start unraveling. Okay, so I probably haven't rolled this quite right. Oh, oh it's because I didn't pull the other side out. My bad. Ah, that's it. Okay, that looks better. Okay, and then you roll it out. Okay. So, as you can see, it does work, but in, in my case, with my particular duvet covers, I think it's just, it takes actually the same amount of time. And then I just need to zip it up. And there you go. Yeah. And it would probably work better if there were two of you, but you know what? It, it always works a bit easier if there are two of you doing it. And uh, I'm always doing the sheets on my own. There we go. So what do you think? Is that something that you might try yourself? It's taken me, um, let me see, because I was talking to begin with, it's taken me about um, eight minutes. And to be honest, I think I'm still as, out, as uh, out of puff as I usually am. But hey, I tried it. If you want to have a go, there we go, one. Oh, there it is, timer. Yeah. So actually, I think I can change my sheets uh, faster with my conventional method. I'm a bit less out of breath, but you know what, I actually quite like that kind of fighting with the duvet cover and it gets out some of that, uh, you know, that stress that builds up in us. So anyway, that was it for me changing sheets. 
This one gets thrown over the banister. I will remember to shout Guardia Lou before I do it so I don't hit anybody. Uh, and I shall see you very soon for some uh, decluttering in zone for the bedroom. Diane in Denmark, signing off. Live long, prosper.